This week's parsha begins a new era for the Jewish people. In Parak Chaf Pasuk Aleph, it says, "Vayavo bnei Yisrael kol ha'eda." The entire congregation came, and as Rashi brings from Medrash Tanchuma, this is an eda shlema. This is the total amount of the Jewish people who are ready to go into the land of Israel, because whoever was supposed to die in the Midbar in the wilderness has already passed away. These are the people who are now ready to enter Israel. Well, in Parachaf Aleph Pasuk He, we see that these people complain about the man. They say, V'nafshenu katsa balechem haklokel. Now, what is this, what, what is this complaint? That we, we're sick of this lechem klokel. What is klokel? The Chizkuni says, it means it's food that enonoten koach ladam. It's food that is not nourishing. They were no, that not nourished by the man. Now, the Chidush Arim asks, wait a second. Up until now, they were always nourished by the man. It gave them all of their daily recommended vitamins and minerals. All of a sudden now, they're not getting nourished by it. What happened? The Chidush Arim says, he says, because this generation was muchan lihiyot ba'e Eretz HaKdosha. This generation was supposed to come into the land of Israel. The lihiyot nizon miderech ha'teva. They, their bodies, are now supposed to be nourished from natural food from the land of Israel. And that's why Lonit Kabel the, the the man, was not absorbed by their body properly, and it was no longer nourishing for them. Therefore, according to the Chidush Arim, it was a fair complaint that they said, because the man actually wasn't nourishing for them anymore. But he writes, Ikar HaKpada, the, the, what the concern was here is, that they should have understood that this is a good thing, and to accept this, he says, Lekabel ba'ahava, that they should have accepted this as a positive thing because it just shows their readiness to come into the land of Israel. Now, what do we understand from here? That they, their body was telling them, it's time for a new stage. It's time for you now to do things in a different way. Now, they didn't understand what their body was telling them. It was reflective of a new spiritual state going on, that it was time for them to enter the land of Israel. And therefore, they were just complaining, oh, this man doesn't taste good at all. The mistake is that when you're feeling something, when your body feels a certain, let's call it malaise or some problem, that is because there's a new spiritual state happening over here that you have to be aware of. And sometimes, you know, it's reflected in your body or some other kind of a feeling that you have. And you have to be attuned to that and know that this is, you're feeling this way because you're in a state that you shouldn't be in and you're ready for the next step. The Jewish people in the Midbar, this was their bodies telling them, it's time for you to go into Israel and eat Israeli produce and not to rely on this man anymore. So too with us, when there were unusual things happening and we're not feeling settled in where we are and we feel, ah, something's just not right, that could be our neshama or our bodies telling us in some fashion that it's time to make a change and it's time to do things differently and we're ready for that change so our body isn't functioning, functioning the way it really was before in the old state that we have now outgrown. Have a good Shabbos, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.